Hello. Okay, so I'm going to walk through how to get this thing basically set up. Um, I have one of these Docker playground things running. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to scroll down in this form post here until I get to the instructions. And I'm just going to copy these one at a time over here into the terminal. So I basically I have an empty directory at this point. It's just the default what it boots up with. So I am going to do the wget thing to go and download the, the stuff. And then I'm going to unzip it once that's done downloading. Yep, there we are. So I'm going to use the unzip command. It does its thing. I'm going to cd into that directory. Oh, whoops. I'm going to have to go and fix that in the post. Okay, so I cd into the right directory. And then I'm just going to run this little build script which uh, basically is going to do the build on this thing. Now, it went a lot quicker for me right here because I had run the, the Docker build before, so it cached the stuff. Um, now, once it's done building, you're going to have this little uh, port 80 link that opens up. And if you click on that, it's going to load up the interface for the CAD software. Okay, there we are. Um, you'll notice if I change my window size, um, the session updates. Um, if I come over here, I can click like new sketch and it's going to ask me to pick my plane. So I'm going to pick my plane. And I can draw something real quick. Um, let's see. I'll just dimension this. Uh, I'll do another dimension here. And uh, I'll add a constraint in. There we are. That's a fully constrained sketch. Um, now I can see my tree here and all that. I can go into like an isometric view. And if I want to extrude that or do a pad or whatever this thing is, I can click that. I can enter in some numbers. So let's just say I want this thing to be 40 millimeters tall. Hit OK. If I want to go and like do another sketch, I can just go like that. Draw some stuff on here. And I can do something like cut out a hole or something. Um, as far as customizing the user interface goes, um, basically you can right click on the different toolbar groups. So you can right click and you can move the groups around. Um, you can right click on the icons and you can move the icons around. Um, if I right click and do edit icons, it's gonna show me the listing of all of the commands that are possible. So these are all the free CAD commands. Um, and basically, if I want to grab one of these free CAD commands, I can add it to uh, a palette just by dragging and dropping it on there. Um, if I want to create a new uh, icon group. I can just right click and then do uh, uh, create a create tool group and it's going to ask me 
what my name is or what the name is for it. And I'm just going to say something. So now I have a new group here and I can drag and drop icons to it. Um, and if I don't like that, I can just remove the group. Um, you'll notice that a lot of these icons have the, the little just like pointer arrow. Um, that's because I, I haven't been able to match all the icons to the commands perfectly yet. So like if you find one that you want to add to a palette, if you click on the icon, it brings it up over here and you can change stuff like the tool tip, um, and the icon file. Um, so like right here, the icon file is set to the mouse pointer, but if I wanted to set it to something else, I could just go and click on one of these icons down here, which are basically all the free cat icons I could find. And once that's done, you just hit save and boom, you can see the icon has been updated. And if, um, if I had it out here, um, like if I wanted to go and look at this one, so like the sketch create rectangle. Um, let's see. Um, <clears throat> so if I were to go and click on something else for that, so like if I were to do that and hit save, it would update. Uh, I'm just going to set it back to that. There we are. Um, you can close out of the icon editor by hitting that button and you're back into the, the CAD. We also have a little file manager here. So your user config file is here. Um, uh, the settings file, you don't have to worry about that. Um, this right here is like the log from the command line of everything that FreeCAD's doing. Um, if I go back to the CAD, actually give it a second here. <clears throat> I can tell it that I want to save this file. I'm just going to call it junk and save it. If I go into the file manager, you'll see that that file's there and you can download it. Um, and you can upload files back in here. Okay, well, that is kind of where I'm at on this. Um, I could use some help linking all of the icon files to their respective commands. Um, if you do end up doing something like that, um, you can right click out here and do a save toolbar configuration. And what that'll do is make it so that you can download uh, a JSON file, which has all of your uh, settings in it. And uh, if you wanted to, you could attach that to like a form post here or something. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for now.